all men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous, for they may act on their dreams with open eyes to make it possible. This is the story of a dream that became real, the story of Great Lakes Institute of Management. A humble beginning from 12,000 square feet to a 27.5 acre lead platinum green campus in Chennai and a presence in NCR. From 120 students in one full-time program in 2004 to 1,000 students across three full-time, four part-time and multiple customized corporate programs in 2014. Driven by its motto, Global Mindset, Indian Roots, Great Lakes is guided by some of the most outstanding and accomplished individuals in India and overseas who serve on the academic and business advisory councils. 41 full-time faculty, 75 plus visiting faculty and 20 plus international visiting faculty from institutes like Kellogg, Stanford and Yale. 10 annual events bring global thought leaders from industry and academia to interact with students resulting in 7 centers of excellence and 4 international research conferences. Ranked among top 10 B schools in India by Outlook Business Today and Careers 360. Associations with world's 10 leading educational institutions. The youngest institution in India to be accredited by Association of MBAs. 3,000 plus alumni spread across 28 countries work for generating employment for rural women to growing the world's best brands. 2002 April I had a originally thought a quadruple bypass surgery, but it turned out to be a quintuple bypass surgery. So at the recovery room, when I was transferred, the blood thinning has to come back to normal viscosity. Instead, it was bleeding like hell. So everybody thought I am gone, dead. So suddenly, somehow I came back. I got a bonus life now. So I have to do something right at last. So that's how Great Lakes got created, conceived and developed. Way back in October 2004, I was sitting in my office around 2 o'clock, my time, in Miami, Florida. And I got a phone call and he said, uh, I'm Dr. Bala Balachander calling you from Kellogg School of Management. And he said that uh, he has actually opened an institute in Chennai, Great Lakes Institute of Management. And he had a vision to take this institute forward and he wanted to do something that was unique and very different from other B schools in India. And he said he's looking for a few good faculty to join him in this journey. We wanted to be perceived as a national school from very first year. So what we did was that we went out of our way to promote the school in other parts of the country where Professor Bala, myself and many other people who were involved did road shows. We operated from a very, very small, limited uh, space in Srinagar colony in uh, Saidapet, which is in the heart of the city. We were hoping to get 120, but we were also prepared for a fact that it may be less than that. But to our great surprise, we ended up having a class of 127. It's the, the belief that this institution would go far ahead uh, in what it is today. One of the main reasons was uh, Uncle Bala. Uh, Uncle Bala's uh, uh, his stint, his career, his professional background uh, is something which really inspired me and my family to really pursue this college and this institution for my MBA. And in the first year itself we had a hit, 100% placement, no name, no track record and the students were dynamite. Uh, any day that we go today, uh, that, that's where we kind of walk together, uh, we learned a lot of things together. Uh, that experience is uh, something which we cannot forget. 
So in 2009 April we moved the our Great Lakes Institute of Management from the rented building to the present campus. Over a period now, see 2009 what it was and 2014 what it is right now in, uh, the, by the completion of the ten year. There is a vast development in the area, number one, and then it looks green. If you come inside the campus, you will have the vibration that it is one of the best campuses you can ever get into. Be distinct or extinct. I can proudly say this is the only platinum rated green campus in the whole country as a campus. There are platinum rated buildings, but not as a full campus. So I want to do it right, right at the first time and do the best I can do it and not compromise on anything. I think the global mindset, Indian roots aspect of Great Lakes is phenomenal. Okay, so over, over the last two, three generations, we've, we've actually forgotten our Indian roots. I think Uncle Bala has really enforced that roots bit through the Karma Yoga uh, principles. So today in my organization, I use the Nishkama Karma principle extensively. So the, our mission is to make living fun. So basically putting others ahead of you and daily diligent action without expecting any rewards is a leadership mantra that started off at Great Lakes and it continues till date. I'm actually here looking for some research articles for a conference that's going to happen soon which is brought to us by Yale and NASME. What they do is they bring us the latest of academics that's happening around the world. So not only do we learn from the books, the best of the professors, the industry experts, we also get to learn what is happening, the latest in the academics as of now. So we get students from all over India so that Pan-India diversity has been built into all programs batch after batch. Along with that, you get your linguistic diversity, your sectoral diversity. We have any number of married students in the class, so they bring in a sort of maturity diversity. So all these diversities bring a very rich peer group, and eventually learning is only 25% inside the classroom. It's a good percentage outside the classrooms in the peer ecosystem. So that, that learning becomes strengthened and healthier thanks to the diversity. One of the initiatives that we brought in after we went to the new campus is Karma Yoga, which I consider as one of the key differentiators. Karma Yoga seemed very exciting. I haven't heard of anything like this in India, at least, in any other B school. And I do teach them English. So uh, when we pay a visit to the parents or if we're uh, you know, visiting the houses to promote a particular uh, program that we're conducting in the village, the kids will say, teacher, 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 why didn't you come last week? And that's that's just something else. I can't describe that feeling. It makes me feel amazing. Primarily, it's very important to put your theoretical knowledge into practical use. That is the first uh, you know, uh, benefit of doing the empirical project. The empirical study is extremely useful because it gives me, it's my first step towards uh, doing problem solving in these areas. One great advantage of joining Great Lakes was learning the language Mandarin. We were equipped with all the study materials and all the stuff wherein we actually could learn Mandarin language, you know, at least communicate in Mandarin language. And towards the end, if I meet a Chinese guy now, I can actually strike a conversation with him, say, uh, Ni hao ma wo ai Great Lakes. Every Thursday we have uh, someone or the other from different industries coming for a guest lecture here. Gives us an opportunity to interact with them, try to develop our industry contacts also and, and get an idea about how different industries are placed and how different sectors are performing. So that gives you a better idea because apart from learning it yourself, you get to hear it from thought leaders, from industry leaders. So this is something which, which gives you, a, you know, an idea in a very, very better way. The kind of international affiliations that Great Lakes has in place, for example, with Yale University, with the University of Houston, with Georgia Tech, with Nanyang University, all of these provide our students the valuable culture, uh, the cognitive inputs so that they can think global while retaining their Indian roots. I must uh, uh, give the credit to Dr. Parna of uh, provisioning this program specifically for uh, emerging market uh, focus. Right now this is the only institution which is able to give a degree in both Great Lakes of Institute of Management and from Georgia State University for the two-year students. One of the other milestones that Great Lakes climbed in 2010 was when it set up a second campus in Gurgaon, in the national capital region of India.
120 students, one campus and that to a city campus to about 800 plus students today, two campuses, multiple programs, it has been a wonderful journey. We ensure that every year that we have, a, you know, there are regional meets. In addition, even we have had overseas meets of our alumni. These alumni meets go a long way in emotionally connecting with the alumni. And I'm sure over a period of time, like the IITs or IIMs, Great Lakes also will have a great alumni movement. At Great Lakes, we have always done well in research. Several of our faculty have published in top-notch international journals, and we have world-class research conferences. And going forward, the, re the focus on research is going to be much greater than it was in the last 10 years. We are very soon going to start a PhD program, a postdoctoral fellowship program. The institute is in Chennai, second campus is in Delhi, which is going to start very short. Now celebration, 10 years function is in Hyderabad. That is Mr. Balachandran. That is how he created. is a good friend of mine since a very long time. When I was CM, I used to search good people all over the world who are all international renowned, how to network with them, how to bring best practices all over the world I used to work. In that context, I had a good equation with him. Then he brought, at that time, management guru, Prahalada, and so many international professors to all the place. We had a very good uh, interaction. I really appreciate him. Always, we should not go regular way. We have to start innovative way. That is what he has done in Chennai. As a professor, he was very happy, as he already mentioned. At the end of the day, he should have retired as professor. But when he took some concern and also some pain to create a best business school, generally all business gurus will think they will teach others. They cannot create institutions. That is what Bala Balachandran, he created a business school. 10 years, 3,000 students already outgone from university. 28 countries they are working. Now best schools, it is one among top 10. I am very happy. Within 10 years, he is starting another center in Delhi. <laughs> Bala Bala Chandran has developed one of the best school. I really appreciate him. There is an agenda for him. After Delhi, he is going to start his business school in Andhra, this new Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> Always, when, whenever I used to go to some meetings, there must be some incentive. This is the incentive I am expecting from Bala Bala Chandran. <laughs> he had to do that job. I would like to greet uh, Uncle <coughs> Professor Bala Bala Chandran. Uh, being organized by the Great Lake, I told Balaji, he must make a lake. So, <laughs> so he promised me he will make an artificial lake, you can swim all of you. Okay? <laughs> he promised he will do that. And then it will be very, the ambience will be beautiful. Yeah, a green building and a green lake and green people, it's very nice. Much larger segment of students and learners, not just in India, but also abroad, through the use of technology, through the use of the internet, all of it at a cost that is affordable and continue to transform lives as we go along. We will create an Asian culture with a global relationship without neglecting the West. And then so, so this kind of a global alliances, global relationship, local emphasis, including the agricultural, rural, poor, entrepreneurial as well as experiential learning and finally the same idea of uh, doctoral program knowledge creation rather than knowledge discipline.
these four is going to be our major emphasis and we will definitely go to one other foreign country where Great Lakes Unit of Management will be the best. Though I am 77, I really want to serve this country for a little more time and also groom my successors very soon. Seamlessly, the next generation will take over and carry the legacy of Great Lakes as a thought leader, inspirational leader, innovative leader and, and make this school a top notch and bring India the greatest life. Jai Hind.